Well, thanks for watching another episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, the show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship. We're hoping you, our viewers, would get a couple of revelations. One, God is still working. And two, there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. Today we're in Guatemala City, visiting the Christian Academy of Guatemala. And with me is Dr. Stan Herod, who's the director of the school. Dr. Herod, thank you so much for letting us join you guys this week. We've been having a blast. Well, it's great to have you here, Chuck. We've had a good time, too. Yeah, your team is amazing, and I was hoping you could tell our viewers a little bit about the history and how the school started, and more importantly, why. Well, the school started, and uh, its inception was 1974. Uh, it came about as uh, a result of uh, missionaries who, uh, actually in, in this context, there was no English-speaking curriculum for kids that are the children of missionaries so that they could be prepared to go back usually to the home country of the North American missionaries. Yeah. And so the, the missionary community has, has been very strong since that time. Well talk about the multiculture that uh, exists here and, and how that plays out in the school as well. The, of course the country is about 50 percent Mayan Indian. There's uh, 23 different language groups uh, and many more dialects uh, in addition to those language groups and they're very distinct, they're Mayan languages, but they're very distinct one from another. Mm -hmm. The other part of the, uh, the population is, is a mixture of uh, both Spanish and, and uh, the native uh, Mayan, uh, which we call Ladino. Many other countries are now sending missionaries to Guatemala, not just North America, so we have many Koreans. We have South Americans, we have people from New Zealand, South Africa, uh, Europe. Uh, so that uh, impacts our student population as well because of the, the many different uh, missionary groups or ethnic groups that are coming in to minister yeah. here in Guatemala. It's a real melting pot of missionaries. It is, and, and it's, it's just great to see how the community, the, the school community, absorbs and, and those diverse, not just linguistic differences, but also cultural differences, and, and it becomes one family, which is what it's supposed to be because, you know, we have the same father. Yeah. And so it really right. makes it, uh, it's a very sweet, uh, wonderful thing to watch the kids play together, not knowing that they're actually from Korea or from Guatemala or from Costa Rica or, you know, or Iowa, and right. so it, it's very special. Very good. Hey, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews and hear about the vision, the mission, and the heartbeat of the Christian Academy of Guatemala. So hopefully you get a couple of revelations and hear that calling to come help. I think the, the vision and the heartbeat of Christian Academy of Guatemala is to train leaders in, in the ministry, not only in ministry, but when they go out into the secular world uh, to influence this world for Christ and to be a positive influence uh, to show the unbelieving world the difference between um, Christianity and other religions and other beliefs. The heartbeat of the school is uh, love, service, um, just God's uh, grace and um, caring. To equip and raise them up to serve the Lord from where they are or wherever they end up. And that's the ministry of the school and it has been in our family. Well that's the purpose of our school is to be able to provide that education for their children to allow them to continue to work and do the ministry God's called them to do in Guatemala. It's enabled us to be free to keep doing ministry and know that our kids having their needs met academically, socially, having friends. The biggest concerns that I had before coming to the mission field was how were my children going to be taken care of? How are they going to be um, brought up so that they could function well in whatever society they decide to go to? He's equipping them for that through CAG. We try to equip our students with our Bible classes and our, all our curriculum, 
Also, we have discipleship groups. We have um, servant days where we go out and do projects in the community in different places. We want students to not only understand Christ, but we want them to, to experience Christ in their work, in their service, uh, in the, the, on the soccer field, you know, in the, the choir, or wherever that's going to be. We really want them to be prepared academically in order to receive the education they need in order to continue to serve the Lord in whatever area He may call them to. But at the same time, making sure that they really do have that personal relationship with the Lord so that they won't fall away from Him later on. If you don't have that Christian belief and that um, just that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you can be lots of things on the outside, but it's not going to last. And that's something that I see CAG really focusing on is nourishing from the inside. One of the blessings about working at Christian Academy of Guatemala is the opportunity to be involved with a lot of the different ministries going on around the country, to get to know the missionaries doing different things and, and be a little part of those different ministries. They come as a social work. They come to help in orphanages or shelters for women. So we have all those different kinds of missionaries here at school, and our school encourages uh, the, the children of those families. Teachers that care about me, and um, it's just an environment that I want to be in, that I like being in, and that I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm a part of it. So yeah, The school has been a blessing to us, and especially to their spiritual life, and their academic life is amazing. We could come to Guatemala, we could minister where God is calling us, but at the same time, our kids wouldn't be falling in the cracks and not getting the education they need. I like the fact that it's small and family oriented because we're Christian based and we could use that for God's glory. And so I feel like it's very important. Education is significant in everyone's lives and it can change a lot of things. I believe, you know, God has given us this vision and we're just happy that we are able to be part of his work so that we could continue to equip the leaders of Guatemala. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.